Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to share you an assignment which you have to solve. So in last two video, we built a counter app and a to do app. So now it's your time to solve an assignment. So basically, we have to build a time based question answer application using React.js. So let's have a preview of the app what you have to build. So if you see, you have a uh, three MCQs and you have to solve that. So you click on a start quiz. Now you see this the MCQ portion and you have some answer. So you can click on any of the answer. And once you click on the answer, the next option will be uh, enabled. Otherwise it will be disabled. And right now the back option will be disabled. That means once you start quiz, you can't go back. So now you can see the timer as well. So this is the quiz timer. If we have a three question, 30 seconds each. So after 90 seconds, our question, our quiz will be automatically stopped and you will get the score depending on how much correct answer you have tick. So now you can see your review answer. Question number one, you click this option. So now you can go to the next. So currently if you focus on the next button, you can find that the tool tip say select option first. So we can't skip without giving the answer. So we have to first of all click then only we can go to the next and here you see the back is enabled that means we can go back to the previous question but we can't go back uh, to the home screen also uh, look at this uh, route so we have the different routes for different for queues we have a queues route for home screen we have a slash route and for the final score we will have other routes so if you go to this and let's go here and find the answer so if you didn't click on answer and we have passed to review and change our previous answer so we can go back and change the answers to this and yeah we can now as you can see that i click on only one and two option i didn't click for the third so depending on we have different answer so you can find that uh, we have written your answer brand each so if it is in a green that means our answer is right if it is in red that means our answer was wrong and if we don't answer it, as you see, the timer already paused, uh, time was over before I click on the third answer. So it gives me zero mark for that. So overall, my score is one and I can start again. I'm not giving the right answer because now I can start again and finding because I don't know the right answer right now as well. So I will start again and yeah, you start the quiz again. So just make sure you implement the routes. So for routes, uh, you can skip that uh, because I haven't explained how to make new routes. Uh, rather than this, you can implement everything by your own and uh, just make sure uh, you make your own design. I implement this design. Uh, I use GitHub theme because if you see the GitHub I increase, I increase you to use a different theme because I, I, I really like GitHub. So I go to the GitHub and use the same font and background color, the button color. If you notice the was button, if I hover on any button. So this is same as the GitHub. So I encourage you to redesign according to uh, your interest. Also make sure that it will be a responsive. So if you see right now it is completely responsive website. So if I go to click on next, so it is completely responsive website. So you have to create this and uh, if you can build that website within a 48 hours, like uh, in the assignment, I have to build that in the 48 hours, but I will give you a 72 hours. So if you can build this assignment in three days, let me know in the comment section, do you accept this challenge and you will able to solve this assignment in three days so if you are not able to solve no worry i will create a solution video uh, for this project so just make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that you get the notification of this solution video